things out for me. May I first start with a quote from Mahatma Gandhi, who once said that a society, a society is judged by how they take care of their animals. Ladies and gentlemen, I will first start by defining the bush. This house will incentivize the wildlife zone communities to conserve wildlife. Now, incentivize in this case means giving incentives to the communities living around um, the wildlife zones. Now, we have a lot of bandits um, who take part in killing our animals. This is, is a practice which we as government are committed to ending. Let me give you some statistics. In Kenya alone, on average, per year, we are having 300 elephants. 300 elephants killed. In Africa alone, in one year, we are having on average about 20,000 elephants killed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an emergency. This is an emergency which needs to be you know, taken care of immediately. So, as government, we are saying that we cannot do this alone. We need to partner with the communities who live around these zones, you know, to take care of animals because they're the best place people, you know, they're the perfect watchdogs to help us in taking care of our animals. Now, wildlife conservation, um, if I may go ahead to expound, simply means um, the practice of protecting endangered species, whether plant or animal life. Now, if you look at the economic aspect of it, we get a lot of foreign exchange through uh, um, tourists coming to, 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 to see our wildlife. So if we do not take care of this very important part of our economy, we will suffer the consequences. It is us, our children, future generations who will suffer. So, this needs to be brought to the attention of everyone. It is not only government, it is not only opposition who are responsible for this. It is not only us as leaders. We need to incorporate the populace, the African populace so that we can continue to enjoy the benefits we've been enjoying through the years. Many nations have agencies which help them around in trying to conserve wildlife. In our country, for instance, we, are, we have the Hands of Our Elephants campaign, championed by, uh, behind by the Kenyan First Lady, Margaret Kenya. We have also um, other celebrities, musicians who are helping us in this campaign, such as Giuliani. And what we are saying is that poachers take advantage of this vulnerable youth, impoverished youth in this world, um, wild zones, to actually help them with poaching. So we, as a government, we are going to incentivize uh, these communities by providing, um, for instance, the Mr. Julian talked of looking for talented youth and making sure that their music is published at the end of this exercise. So, apart from this, this is going to be a, a form of uh, empowerment for this youth. They're going to get, get you know, um, employment from this, and they're going to help their own, themselves and their own families. So, slowly by slowly, if we do this, we will see, and our children will see the sense in joining the government in helping to conserve um, wildlife. So what we are saying is that we need other African countries, for instance, to follow our example of government. We need to partner with more organizations um, to campaign against killing wildlife. Because as I said, it is the future generations who will have, judge us harshly. We will, we will be judged very harshly as a generation if we do not spearhead the campaign of this magnificent animal. Take elephants, for instance. Take elephants. Would you imagine a world without our beautiful elephants, or our buffaloes, or our lions, or our leopards? Ladies and gentlemen, let us wake up to our
into reality. The reality is animals are becoming extinct. Wild animals are becoming extinct. So it is up to us to take charge, to wake up and realize that we need to take it. Ladies and gentlemen, 